I'm Steve Poppy. I'm the horticulture scientist at the West Central Research and Outreach Center in Morris, Minnesota. With our experiment, which was funded through MDA and EPA, the, the big plus was this is we were eliminating fungicides, okay? If you were commercial, if commercially producing raspberries outdoors, there is, as our researchers show on, a tremendous amount of fungicide, especially captan, to rid yourself of those fungal diseases, which happens because of rainfall. When rain falls on flowers, fruit, and foliage, you might tend to get some uh, fungal diseases. Here in a high tunnel, we're eliminating that. We haven't used any fungicides whatsoever. We're doing a comparison trial outdoors with a field trial of these same varieties. Autumn Britain and Caroline are matched up perfectly outdoors at the same spacing and um, uh, treated the same except for the only issue is with uh, insecticides, okay? Where we've had to treat for insecticides in the high tunnel for spider mites outdoors with the excessive amount of rainfall we've had this year takes care of the spider mite issues. As we get over and we look at the field trial, you'll see that when we harvest, we probably have to pick on our knees, okay? When you're harvesting in here, you can just stand, okay? Because they are much shorter. My thought on, on working with MDI on this is, uh, I think the benefits are the outreach or the education would be the most important component working with MDA. As part of our objective and our goals is that the outreach activity, the educational, uh, is very, very important. That we get this information out by any means we can to the general public. And I think with what they've wanted us to do and what our objectives are, especially with high tunnels, not specifically raspberries, but there's a whole new huge quantity of people that are out there that are interested in this type of uh, a growing in a high tunnel. Part of our plan is to grow, the, grow new growers, and I think we're doing that. I mean, there's a lot of interest out there in um, probably non-farming type people that are thinking maybe this could be a niche for them in, in a very small acreage and be able to good, uh, uh, grow a crop that can either, you know, be an early crop or extend the season.